travers du... Oh. Putain, ouvre, du... ouvre le bordel là. Ouvre le bordel derrière. Non, 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 non tire pas dessus, ça va craquer. Oh là là. Non, non, mets-le dans le cockpit, putain. Il est dans sa bouche. Il a avalé. Non, non, il sort. Il non, 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 il sort. Euh... Il est bien un kilo là. 20 What do you think, Stéphane Ouais, ça vie. Il y a Non, laisse-moi derrière pour le vider. Ah ouais, ouais. merci. Oh, putain, il est lourd ce monsieur. Non, il pèse un pack d'eau. Un pack d'eau, c'est 9 kilos. and made such a mess of the poor bastard before, so we had to come up with a better way of securing Steph's catch. Nico tied a noose to a line and carefully slipped it over the fish. No potential hook hazards this time. No gory mess. Pretty unbelievable. Steffi just bought, cut himself another big tuna. Wow. About 10 kilos. 10 kilos. <coughs> That's the estimation. So we have two 10 kilo fish, <laughs> one already in the fridge. Jesus gosh. I don't know what we're gonna do. Too much fish, Steffi, you have to stop now. Fresh tuna gets any better than this. Nicolas is making this tuna steak cooked by our friend, yacht master, cook master, fish master. Nicolas, oh my god, ça a l'air mec, super. Oh! Ah, 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 Good morning everyone, Good morning to the crew, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, it's my watch and I've been greeting by the sun and it couldn't be a better description to say here comes the sun, doo -doo -doo -doo. here comes the sunshine. George Harrison, The Beatles. fish. He did a big service to the med. He's a cut a piece of garbage. Comes from Nasmil El Dachouf. It's like a mattress cover. Poor Nico. He hasn't caught a fish. 
Steffi was mocking him and laughing. <laughs> that was not nice. <laughs> when Nico actually did a good service to the med. Well, moi, moi, the ménage. Ouais. Et là, rendu service à Neptune. That was a test from Neptune to see if we um, deserved any more fish. See if we cleaned up some of the garbage that's laying around here in the med, unfortunately. We've been sailing since 12 o'clock yesterday, non-stop. Did uh, 20 hours of motoring because there was just no wind all night long. Finally put up the sails for uh, a few hours this morning and this afternoon again it's just dead calm. Not that unpleasant actually, it's kind of nice. We had time to make a nice tuna steak uh, lunch and uh, take a nap. And Steffi even made his own lures. But it is absolutely nothing, nothing in sight, nothing on the horizon in any direction. Pretty amazing. sailed two days mostly motoring, but got some good sailing time too. We were really in the middle of nowhere and had no idea what day it was. How nice. We occupied ourselves making food, sipping a few beers, but most of the time was spent looking out over the sea, constantly changing, sometimes just constantly the same. So stuff, how was your fish that you ate? Very, very good, very tasty. We already had two, three different recipes. So we'll see tomorrow. If we're still in the mood for some tuna for breakfast. How fresh was it? <laughs> that was fresh. Like uh, we fished it, made fillets, and about two hours later we were eating it. Just chilled it up, a little bit of lemon, some onions. Tomatoes. Good. I fish these <laughs> huge tunas and all they made was a little bit. Like, uh, we didn't fish enough. It's about one o'clock in the morning and it's uh, my watch. Uh, we're off the coast of Sardinia. We have been sailing for the past two days. This is our second night at sea and we can see the coast. Um, it's really cool to, to sail at night, it's a whole different feeling and this time we're on the sail whereas before we were motoring because there was no wind. Uh, but this is uh, really, really nice. Wish I could show you what it looks like outside but the camera just won't capture it. So. I'm making uh, a seafood version of uh, steak and eggs. I'm making tuna steak and eggs. So we have so much of this tuna, we have to eat. We still have like maybe 10 kilos of tuna. I mean, not that much, but at least five, seven. So we gotta eat it up. So this morning, tuna steak and eggs.
As the sun rose its golden rays, the wind increased. It pushed Galopin steadily while she swayed by Isla de Toro, the southernmost end of Sardinia. Further south is North Africa, another world. If there is ever a perfect sailing, this was it. Us three in our little sailing vessel alone. By the time we reached Golfo di Calgiari, we were no longer alone. The busy modern world carried on on its cadence out here too. Giants steamed by, so big, it was as if they were in slow motion. We'd done nearly half of our thousand nautical miles, in very slow motion too, until While Nikola was resting, he's been up all night, it was his turn to rest. Me and Steffi are just chilling out, bored, turned on the motor, saw a couple dolphins swim by the bow. I report our position, and next thing I know is I hear Steffi going, Alex? And I come out, and there's like this huge amount of wind. It's up to like 30 knots now, and put in a reef, and got everything tidied up, and Nikola showed up, and I think we're okay. Skeffy's a little, a little tense though. The marina here looks really nice. Uh, it's costly though. It's really expensive. It's like 85 euros for a 12 meter boat. It was pretty sporty, out in 4.6, 4.7 conditions. Waves were pretty big, splashing over the roof and everything. But uh, handled the maneuver pretty well. I was at the helm, gave directions to my crew, Steffi and Nico. I was a little hesitant on the end, uh, backing in in reverse, and didn't have all the lines quite ready. Should have spun around in the marina first. Make sure the crew is all ready with the, uh, the lines. And uh, so that's the one criteria I have to work on. You gonna have some tuna tonight, Steph? No tuna. No more tuna. <laughs> We've had tuna steaks, tuna breakfast, tuna salad, tuna sauteed, tuna flambéed. We didn't have tuna pasta. No, no tuna pasta. I'm gonna make a tuna curry tomorrow.